All right, let's do it. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. All right, well, that was a fun little uh, excursion. Crushing 120% as always. Dude, I've been playing so bad in this category lately. I literally have given up on every run and turned it into an early loot run. And then yesterday, I couldn't even complete the early loot run. So 120% has frankly been going completely terribly for me lately. Um, I am hopeful that I can get a good run at like a 121. But we'll see what happens. I'm not going to have any expect... The key for me is to not have any expectations to not be... Oh, I'm playing well, so let me grind hard. No, I'm not going to have that. I'm just going to play... I'm gonna talk. The attitude is the more important thing today. Yesterday I had a fucking awful attitude. A truly dismal attitude. I cried after stream. I don't usually cry after stream. But I literally turned off my computer, hopped in bed, and then like cried with Sarah basically. Um, it was pretty fucked up. But uh, thanks for the good luck games. Appreciate that. And everyone else. Um, so yeah, I don't want to feel like that again. That, that's just, it's just awful. It's just an awful feeling when you just feel like you just can't do anything, you know? Um, so I'm probably just, I don't know. I'm just gonna be more talkative today, I guess. Yesterday I was like fucking, yeah, I don't, I don't even wanna talk. I don't wanna dwell on it too much. But yeah, I was in a bad mood yesterday. But today I feel, I feel redeemed. I unbanned that one guy, even though he definitely did not apologize in his ban, unban request. <laughs> What's up, Elucid Arc? Thanks for the gift. So I'm totally, I've turned a new leaf. I'm like not an asshole anymore, right guys? Right guys, I'm not an asshole. I'm a really nice streamer and you guys love me, correct? Please say that I am very nice in my chat. I need all of the ego boosts I can get. We love you. Very friendly. Oh, man. Thank you guys for these genuine chats. Oh, my God. I feel so loved now. I totally don't feel like I forced you guys to say that or anything. <laughs> I eat ass. There we go. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I do that sometimes, Ludwig. I do say thanks for watching. In the uh, unbanned denials. Yo, Harry Unit, thank you for the five gifts. I appreciate that. Day for Harry, you love to see it. We're at 25 out of 40 subs, guys. If we hit 40 subs by the end of this run, I will do a crowd control speed run. If you don't know what crowd control is, type exclamation point sub goal in the chat. But yeah, it'll be really cool. I spent all morning getting it all set up, so I'm excited, feeling snazzy. Yeah, it's like tear gas. It's like you guys basically are throwing tear gas at me. Spraying fucking mustard gas into my face while I'm playing. Just choked to death. That's basically what crowd control is. Fucking riots in the Twitch chat. I'm over here like the fucking... Like the police trying to hold you guys back. <laughs> Love you too, flying monkey.
Dude, you know what I randomly just got like a, a hankering for? A little craving? It's some damn uh, freshly baked naan. You know the Indian like pita bread type shit? Dude, naan is so fucking good. Some garlic naan with some fresh out the fucking tendor with some fucking mango or pardon me, some mint chutney, raw onion. Maybe a little bit of curry on there too, fuck it. Oh, that would be delectable right now. Oh. There is a way to make homemade naan using a cast iron, but I tried doing it once and it was fucking awful. So I'll stick to the restaurant quality shit. You want to do non right, you got to have a pit of fire. Yeah, Mini Malo, thank you for that gift. I don't know if I just said that or not, but thank you. Sushi, oh my god. You know, I haven't had sushi in a hot fucking minute. I would love to go get some sushi with Sarah, but you know, I really, we're not going out at all lately. Just saying, like, we are literally cooking at home like crazy. Like, tonight, I, we're going to be doing a nice T-bone steak and some homemade mashed potatoes. I might even save a potato or two and just, like, cut it up and roast it for, like, two hours in the oven. Make some oven fries. Maybe roast some um, asparagus alongside them as well. Nice homemade meal. We had a... Uh, I think we still have some leftover Italian sausage as well that I cooked up the other night. That shit was good. We've been cooking like every night. It's been really nice. Uh, yesterday we made a really nice homemade tomato soup. You know, where you like roast the tomatoes and onions and everything in the oven. And then blend it up. Oh, so good. Had that shit with the last of my uh, fresh French rolls. And a little bit of cheese on there. So good. So yeah, we've been cooking at home a lot. You guys think... Yeah, I'm telling you, like, I know I'm over here, like, begging for subs and stuff, but I am li living as, like, respectably, frugally, you know, like, cooking for me and Sarah, making the most out of our grocery trips and whatnot, buying cheap, you know, we got a cheap vacuum the other day for, like, 60 bucks, you know. So we're definitely not, like, overspending, I don't think. We're just, like, spending enough to live, like, reasonably comfortable without, like, uh, without going crazy about it. We haven't ordered any, uh, takeout. Well, technically, um... Sarah ordered a Chipotle like the other day, but that was that was her that was her thing And we did technically order a pizza the other day as well, but that was like cheap And now I actually have um, it's cool because now I can like get a free pizza from Domino's now So I might go do that for pickup one of these days The Domino's isn't too far away, so You know what I need to buy though, um, and this will be really helpful for my uh, exercises. Uh, I need to buy a skateboard where are the skaters in the chat, dude? I'm gonna buy a fucking, like, a 10-inch, like, pool deck. I'm gonna buy, like, a 10-inch deck and a fucking, like, Indy 149 truck, some fucking really soft but small wheels, some Bones Reds. That shit'll probably cost me, like, 120 bucks. Are you unbanned? Yeah, welcome. D well, th hey, dude, Mac, thank you for actually apologizing. I appreciate that. I don't know if you saw my unbanned, like, reply there. Um, but, yeah, that, that's all I, that's the only reason I denied the, the unban initially was, cause it's like, I did nothing wrong, which you're right, you didn't really do anything wrong, I'm not saying you're not right. You know, I had to make sure, that's why I had to make sure with my chat, like, earlier, I don't know if you were watching earlier, but, I was talking about it with my chat. I was like, guys, should I unban him, and everyone was basically like, yes, so. Mac, you can thank this chat room for having mercy on you. There were a couple people though that were like, nah, fuck him. <laughs> Motherfucker better apologize next time. No, but thank you for that though. You're the homie, Mac. And I will stop putting you on the spot now. <laughs> Ludwig, thank you for the gift. Appreciate it. You were sad you left your return. Well, I'm glad you're not sad anymore. That makes me happy to hear. Wholesome vibes. Oops. Yeah, that was a pretty fucking bad town square right there. But yeah, the pace is still okay. We can still get a mid 1130s. Miss Artisans. Get some awa.
Only 13 more subs, my friends. For Spyro 1 crowd control. Do you want to be able to insta-kill me with channel points? Or make me fucking moon jump or fuck up the camera and make it all drunk and shit? Well, now is your chance. Let's get a couple more subs in and we'll do it later today. Dude, how are these flames missing? That was some bullshit. A wonky ass hitbox. And if you don't know what crowd control is, type exclamation point sub goal in the chat. Uh, Ellie Chan, thank you for the ski bobo, appreciate it. For the sub bobo. And yeah, just FYI, you can start buying coins now for, um, to redeem for uh, crowd control. Um, if you just type, like, if you just click on the uh, channel point thing there, you can, like, get coins. Just be careful not to spend any right now, because they won't do anything. They'll only affect my game when I'm doing crowd control. Right now I'm playing on a normal console that is not connected to crowd control, just FYI. So, feel free to stockpile your points, but do not waste any right now. I definitely will not get world record with crowd control turned on. Even if you guys don't do a single thing that like, you know, fucks me up in game, I'm still playing on emulator with like the shitty input delay and a DualShock 4. So like, it's gonna be just awful gameplay all around. It'll probably take me at least, it'll probably take me somewhere between two and three hours, I imagine to do 120%, maybe more. You want a bitch? Go ahead. You just bitch right now. Go for it. It's all you, babe. Baby. Babe. I'm so, I'm so awkward with the babe. <laughs> I'm bad at saying babe. Baby. Sound like Johnny Bravo. Johnny Babo. Johnny Bobo. <laughs> My favorite PlayStation game. Bobo. I just got like a picture of a cat on the front. Bobo. Johnny Bobo. Oh, okay, go ahead. So basically, I write blogs for an insurance company, and they're supposed to show that they're experts or whatever. They're terrible at responding to emails, so they're like, okay, can you send us all the questions you're going to have for the blogs for this month, at the beginning of the month, and then we'll get it back to you so that you can have it. So I I just want you to know I'm not like really paying attention to your story right now. I'm just trying to focus. Okay, go ahead. I don't care about, I'm telling chat. Okay, cool. I don't really care about you knowing the story. Anyway, so my boss emails me and he's like, well, they pay us to write these blogs, so we need to do the majority of the research for them. So I think you're asking too many questions. You could Google this or use chat. Oh, she can't, she, they, they can't hear you. Uh, get up next to the mic. Like up here? Yeah, over on to my left, Hi. yeah. Okay, tell the whole story again. Okay, I have to start over. So I write blogs for an insurance company um, as part of my PR job. And every month we have to send them questions like the client who we're writing for at the beginning of the month. So they'll get back to us in time to write everything because they don't respond to emails. Um, and so I put my list together like I always do. And my boss emails me and he's like mad at me for asking them too many questions. And he's like, yeah, well, it's our job to do the research for them. That's why they pay us. You can use Google or ChatGPT. I'm like, why is my boss telling me to use AI to do my fucking job, first of all? Second of all, I'm like, I don't know anything about insurance. And so like, that's why I'm asking them what they do specifically. Why am I gonna write a blog about generic stuff? No, I'm it's not her boss. Them. I'm not her boss. Her boss is like a boomer ass like- He's he like Gen X, he's like yeah. 45. He's old. 
I mean, nothing wrong with being old, but like it reflects a lot in like the way he like manages her social media work and stuff. It's just very out of touch. I'm just like, dude, don't tell me to use ChatGPT because half the time the information is wrong and then I have to do more digging to find out if it's true. And I'm like asking questions that I don't think that I can find the answer to on Google. So don't tell me that I need to come up with questions to ask them and then tell me, no, don't ask them anything. I'm like, what the fuck do you want? And my therapist told me when I get annoyed with him like this, I need to think whether or not this is really valid for me to be annoyed, but I think this is kind of dumb. I think this is worth being annoyed about. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. You're good, baby. Very valid. And I love you. You're so dumb. Me? You're so dumb. Oh, yeah, your boss, yeah. Uh, you I love never you. have a job. You live day over your own boss. Never yeah. have an actual job. Yeah, just panhandle on the internet with it's strangers. So much better. No one yells at you for <laughs> and if they do, you can ban them. Yeah, I can just delete people that piss me off. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Anyways, um, is 40 subs enough to improve my financial situation? Yes. Um, it's not gonna just like... It's not gonna put me in a different tax bracket or anything. You know, you guys know I spent $3,200 on taxes the other day? $3,200, yep. Pretty fucking cool. And that's with all the write-offs and everything, dude. That's with $18,000 in write-offs. It still wasn't enough to get my taxes down below $3,000. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah, internet... We, let's call it internet busking. Let's pretend like I have some talent here. That was actually a very nice dry canyon right there. Am I saving time? Yeah, 17 on the dot. We're back on a pretty solid pace here, I must say. Probably my best pace in the last three days, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see if I can't throw it in Clifftown like I did yesterday. Um, what are taxes? Since I'm a percussionist, was I ever involved in the marching activity? Yes, I was. I played uh, the quads in a marching band in the drum line for all four years of high school, which is actually usually kind of rare because usually they'll start freshmen on like the cymbals or the bass drum or something. But they let me play quads all four years. It was tight. I was like the stoner quads guy. And if you don't know, quads are like the, when you see a marching band and you look at the drum line, it's the guy that has like five, like, like different drums or, you know, at least four different drums like in front of him. Like all flat in front of them. They're like tom toms. Oh my god. How did I miss that? Not saving a lot of time here up there. So hopefully we can have just a good rest of the clip town. That wouldn't be too bad of a time loss. We can at least hold on to the pace somewhat. I think I got them all. Good thing I walked a good amount there. Sparks being extra slow. Okay, fuck you. <clears throat> Were snares the cool, good players? I mean, I guess so. The snare, I, I would actually call the snares like the tryhards is what I would call them. People who played snare were like, they wanted to be like the fucking drum captain one day. They wanted to like go into fucking like into, into some private drum corps or something, you know, like summer, they go to separate summer programs and stuff. Like, I went to a public high school, all right? So we didn't have a lot of funding. I was just stoned and playing just silly, like little things like on the, on the quads. I, I wasn't really like that amazing at them or anything. I just had fun with it. Yeah, McNuggets knows, he knows.
and then and then no McNuggets. Tell me it's not also like this. The the one like junior or senior that has just fucked around like the fucking like the piece of shit like ass not asshole but just like lazy you know kind of dude maybe he has shitty grades and stuff you know skips school sometimes that guy once he's a junior or senior he becomes the leader of the bass drums and so he's like leading the freshmen and like playing pranks on them and shit cracking jokes like left and right that guy is like the bass captain we would call him I remember when I was a freshman, the base captain was this guy named Pinoy. He was this fat Mexican dude with spiked up hair. And dude, that guy talked so much shit. That guy was amazing. Pretty fucking slow. a good food fight I've never had a food fight in my life I think in today's like day and age I think it's considered like pretty distasteful to engage in a food fight you know I think it's just a waste of food I mean even if it's shit food that would get thrown away anyways I mean it's just gross <laughs> I don't know I'm not one for a food fight I know like on like you know Nickelodeon and shit like or whatever cartoons would be like food fight but I've never actually seen that happen, like, in real life. Nor would I like for that to happen. That sounds so whack. Shit, you'd think there was a food fight if you saw, like, the post-mortem after lunch at my high school. Dude, there'd just be fucking food all over the ground, everywhere. Like, these fucking kids have no idea how to pick up after themselves. It's disgusting. Feel bad for the janitors. Yeah, I'm definitely losing time here. So yeah, the pace kind of is not as great as it was before, but I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to venture to say that world record is definitely slipping away from us here. Yeah, invest in Deo coin. Not, it's not cryptocurrency. It's not anything that has any real world value, actually. It's fucking crowd control coins. And if we can get up to 40 subs, which we're on our way, we just need 12 more. If we can get up to 40 subs today, then you'll be able to use those coins to uh, do change the effects of the in-game crowd control in Spyro. So you can like make Spyro's head spin and make the camera drunk and stuff. So in my opinion, they're more valuable than cryptocurrency. Invest in Deo coin. All you gotta do is click on the uh, channel point rewards for them. And if you don't have any channel points or you want some uh, some coins, maybe you're new, feel free to drop a sub. It would get us that much closer to doing crowd control today. Thanks for watching. Oops. Yeah, it's been a pretty sloppy peacekeepers, I gotta say. You guys hear that? Fucking Windows 11 or 10 or whatever the fuck. Okay, thank you. Fucking just really sloppy in general. Did I just, did System Dirty, Dirty 2 delete itself? <laughs> system Dirty 2? Did I just lose my entire computer? Well, task crashed? I mean task crashed. Is my stream okay? Did my stream die? Hold on. No, it's fine. You guys are fucking, you guys are trolling me. No task is crashing around here. I always get scared when I see a bunch of oh no's and L's in the chat. It's like, oh fuck, my stream died again, you know. 
I lost my dedicated ram. Redemption didn't need to work. Yeah, do not use the coins. Just so you guys are aware, like, you can get the coins, but if you use them, they are literally just going to waste right now. They are not affecting my current game right now. That will be once we hit 40 subs and I'll, I'll start the crowd control then. Yeah, I'm currently working on downloading more RAM right now. You guys see Chris LBC make a computer yesterday? Chris LBC was building a computer. That puppy can download more RAM than you can even imagine. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna put that run on YouTube. If we do it, if we do, we're still at 28 out of 40 subs, man. You know, who knows if we'll get, the, if we'll hit the sub goal by the end of this run, that's all I'm saying. But we're close. Sir Quail Man getting us that much closer. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Did I say 18 subs? I meant, I meant to say 12. Now 11 subs left. Oh! All it takes is one generous gifter. Haryuna has already been very generous, by the way. Let, 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 the let the chat help out here, Harry. Don't give him too much help yet. You've already put in your your subs. Masca, thank you for the sub. And Sad Beamchi, thank you for the gift as well. We are sub 10 subs away. Nine subs away, basically, from the uh, crowd control, guys. Hype up, man. Can we hit it? Twenty six oh eight. I mean, I'm gonna just treat this like a normal one twenty percent run for now. I'm gonna give this Magic Crafters a chance. Um, yeah. Before I call this an early loot run, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep try hard in here. But the run is currently I'm gonna venture to say not world recordable. Pretty solidly behind world record at this point. But that's fine. We can make it work. Still 121 this. Yeah, once again, that's the how-to for when we are doing crowd control. I am currently do not I'm it's not active right now, so do not waste your coins yet. You can stockpile the coins, but do not waste them. They will not affect my game at this current moment. seen early loot yet? Yeah, if this run gets shittier, then it will become an early loot run. But like I said, I'm gonna try to make it work. It, it's all gonna come down to the next two levels, basically, after this one. To see if I'm saving or losing a bunch of time. Cool bonks. Subtilius, thank you for the Subtilius. Appreciate that, man. Getting us ever closer to the goal. A few more of those from a few cute chatters, and we might just do some crowd control today. Anybody who's got a prime or anything sitting that you didn't realize, now's your chance to actually have an effect. Uh oh, do I see some gifts? Anonymous with 10? Thank you, Anonymous. Making us fucking hit the damn goal just like that with a simple click of a button. 
appreciate the generous gifts, Anonymous. Looks like crowd control is happening. Still losing time on this run, but uh, yeah, hype, dude. Hype for the crowd control. Thank you again, Anonymous and everyone else who subbed. We are back. We are close to having um, 700 subs again. I think we're only like less than 10 away from the actual seven. If someone wants to type exclamation point subs in the chat. Oh! So yeah, thanks for getting us, even just getting us close to 700 subs. It, it would make my little heart explode if we hit 700 subs, but for now I am happy and we are going to do some crowd control after this run. Uh, but right now is a pretty clutch point. Um, these next two levels have the opportunity to fuck up terribly uh, if I don't do everything exactly right. So, let's see how, how they go, you know. Let's try, to have a, try to have a good attitude. Try to have some good balls. Oh, gorgeous flame charging. Yeah, I like that. Love that, good start. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, we're only six away from 700 right now. But thanks, uh, anyways, to all the cute chatters. It's all extra credit now at this point. Um, did I get all the gems there? I might not have. This is concerning. Oh, beautiful fucking strat there. I, you think I did? We'll see at the end of the level. I'll be careful when I exit. If I don't, if I don't have all the gems at the end, then this will be an early loot run. Thank you for the 420. Thank you. Um, yep. All right, this is going to be an early loot run, my friends. Early loot it is. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm actually not losing too much time. But yeah, it's going to be an early loot, fuck it. Yeah, don't go in Twilight Harbor. Or, don't, or if I go into Twilight Harbor, don't finish Twilight Harbor while I'm busy trying to explain this shit. I did practice it a bit before this run, so I am glad to be going for it. Okay, fuck you. Should've hit. Just time loss everywhere. But now I can start skipping dragons and stuff, so it should be nice. Is it a haircut? No, it's a, actually a flower in my hair that uh, Sarah braided for me. Isn't that cute? Cute little flower boy. This is the type of things that you get when you're in love. Very cute.
Oh, barely. Fuck you. Okay, I'm not gonna skip this dragon. In fact, I'm probably just gonna get both, uh, like, all three dragons here. Or, well, probably not. Maybe. We'll see. Might skip the last one or something. I got room to play with these dragons. Oh, I didn't need to hit him. I gotta remember that I don't have to worry about the uh, thieves. Could have done that section a little quicker, but no biggie. Dodge the one later. Dragon. Avoid this thief. Grab this early. <laughs> kind of a little slow, but whatever. Grab this guy and get out of there. Nice. Ooh, bringing back the time loss just by skipping those dragons. Legend. Have I tried Super Mario 64 out? Yeah, I mean, I've played that game ever since I was a kid, but I've never uh, speed ran it before in like a serious way. I love speed runs of that game, though. Shoutouts to, I think it's... What's his name who just got the new 16-star uh, record? Green Sweegee or something? Yeah, Sweegee. Yeah, Sweegee just got like basically a perfect 16-star run. Pretty insane. Oops. Uh, can I make this? Someone in the, uh, when I saw that shit on Twitter, I saw a really interesting reply to it. Like, that run was so good that, um, the distance between first place and second place is greater than the distance between second place and ninth place in one of the most competitive speedrun categories, like, in the world. Think about that. Five, I think it's like a five second difference or more between first and second place, and a second through ninth are, like, all within five seconds of each other. Pretty nuts, right? Oh, it's 15, pardon me, 15 seconds between first and second. Crazy. It's hard to say how much an optimal early loot run saves over normal 120%, but people have ballparked it in the range of three minutes. You save a lot of time from skipping dragons, but you also lose a lot of time from doing the trick and re-entering loot. So there's a bit of a trade-off. How the developers consider it? There's actually a, a very clear answer to your question. It's that the 120% is only uh, counted by the gem count. 100% is counted by all of the uh, dragons and eggs, but if you can get into loot early and get the last 2,000 gems, in addition to all the others, then that's all that's technically required to make the game say 120%. It's because 120 is like, it's because 2,000 gems are not mathematically accurate, but they wanted it to say 120%, so that's the reasoning there. It's dumb, but that's how it is. 
Wilderness, thank you for the sub. 23 months, almost up to two fucking years, you legend. And getting us ever closer. We did hit the sub goal, but getting us ever closer to 700 natural, uh, big naturals subs. So yeah, let's get out of here. <clears throat> yeah, basically, Olekja. Okay, so let's start skipping some dragons here. I do have to still grab a few. Um, I need 50 exiting um, beast makers. And I think I'm currently at like 44, 45 maybe. Big naturals, my favorite. So we'll see, I'll start collecting this one here. Cost me God Cycle. Fucking cool half flame. Maybe if I skip this dragon, I can still get God Cycle. But I'm kind of scared though. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. Kind of scared I might not have enough dragons, and I think there'll be enough to catch up in uh, Beast Makers. Should be alright. There's a lot in Bog, so. I'll grab the one that's right here. That's right. No, that's not good. Oh, that's super terrible. I almost had God Cycle. I was just too uh, hasty. Too hasty. Might still be able to catch this. We'll see. No. Awful Terrace. It's cool, though. I will grab this guy. You're a lesbian, dude. Let's fucking go. That's tight. We love lesbians. Uh, how many dragons did it say there? We'll see when I exit the level. Forty-five? Okay. Should be fine. Okay. Game really was out for blood there. Hello. Fucking awful Terrace. Literally, this Terrace is losing more time than if I'd have just collected all the dragons. Terrible. But saving time on these splits. <laughs> oh. Dude, fucking wow, these gems hate me. Amazing. Cool. Just literally just the exact... <sighs> this shit is kind of pissing me off, I'm not gonna lie to you. Literally, fuck you, game. Congrats on all the subs, thanks, Michael. We're almost up to 700. We are getting there. But for now, I'm happy that we're at least going to be able to do the uh, crowd control today. Stoked. Might have some chili or something after this uh, run, though. Them. Your boy's a little hungry. Everything trash! Trash, dude. It's not difficult to talk and play the game. 
Um, for me, depending on the mood I'm in. If I'm in a, if I, if I like start playing and stop talking so much, then it becomes difficult to start talking again and play. But since I've been talking a shit ton this run, it doesn't matter. Ooks Madman, thank you for the sub, appreciate that. If you're in a talking mood, you're in a talking mood. It just varies from day to day. Some days you can't talk and play, other days you can't. Yesterday I couldn't talk and play, like literally I was too distraught. I couldn't handle it. But today I'm in a mood to do that. But yeah, thanks for being amazed. Uh, how many dragons do I have? I think I do have to grab a, some dragons here. I do want to be at 49, I believe, in, uh, treetops. Titty tops. I could probably afford to skip some here. this because I don't know how many I have. 49? Oh, do I have 59? No, okay, we're good. He's gonna get me. Yeah, that was just unlucky. But at least we still got sparks. Let's open for the flame charge. Oh well. I am a sloppy bitch. Don't grab this, fuck it. Oh! oh the camera! <laughs> you see that? The camera, Spyro didn't touch the vortex, but the camera did. Sometimes that confuses the game. <laughs> that was like a, f oh! Hold on. No! <laughs> fuck. Oh, come on. Whatever, at least we didn't touch the vortex. I tried to do every recovery in the book there. You gotta give me that. Okay, we already grabbed those. Spyro did touch it. I'm sorry, I explained it wrong. Okay, and then we'll grab 49 and, uh... Grab 49 from the first dragon in tear in, uh, treetops. Don't grab the dragon here. Come on, just hit the flame, you fucker, dude. I love that the circle button is just barely not as sensitive as I'm used to. Just barely not sensitive. It's just like if I go for a for like a quick flame charge, it just is not gonna register every time. Fucking absolutely heartbreaking missing flame charges like that. I'm behind a split. Dude, why are you fucking correcting me on everything? I, I Well, I'm just gonna leave it like this now. I'm tired of you telling me like how to fucking live my life right now. They were having to just kicking back and just watching, you know? Let me be wrong. Is that so crazy? Let my ego stay intact for two seconds. Yeah, okay, I gotta grab the dragon. Looking too bad for, welcome, welcome. Could it be a massive route change if we remove dragons? Uh, massive is a strong word, but yeah, I mean, some level routes could theoretically change with removed dragons. I don't think any of that has been highly optimized yet, though. Grab the red. Grab this, too. Why not? 
Boom, bam, bam. Drank two beers tonight, congrats. Enjoy, drink water. Yeah, his name's Rotis because he's named after a rotisserie chicken, that's correct. Good good context clues there. Not not everyone realizes that. I mean, that's what the chickens look like in this level. They look like fucking... They're plucked and ready to be put on the spit, you know? Okay, I gotta go this way. Dude, oh my, come on. Okay. Cool. Don't- oh, I didn't mean to grab that. It's cool. The nut cam? What do you mean nut cam? I don't see a nut cam. Are you guys doing that thing where you're talking about something that I have no idea and don't give a fuck about what you're talking- Are you guys doing that thing again? No, Deo, I was talking to someone else. Bitch, you're in my chat room. Is that what's happening? You want the nut cam? Yeah, I mean, I, I can turn it on, I guess. I don't know. I don't like having... Because, look, I have an input. This, this is how I see it. Like, unironic. I know you, it's all memes to you guys, but this is how I unironically see it. Because I take this shit way more seriously than any human should. Um, is I think... And feel free to disagree with me here. And, I, again, I just want to reiterate that none of you guys probably care about this at all. But I'm going to just state my piece, because I have a fucking microphone in front of me. Is I think a controller cam is unnecessary because I have an input display... And furthermore, I feel a little uncomfortable using a controller cam because like, as you guys have eloquently pointed out, um, it shows my fucking nuts. You know, what if I accidentally like get a boner or something, you know? What if I, what if like the little part where like the button on my fucking, uh, on my sweatpants, like, you know, the opening that the dick opening like opens up a little bit, like, it's just scary. I don't like being in fear while I'm streaming. I like just doing my thing, you know? So that's, for that reason, I am not doing a nut cam. I know it's a hilarious fucking joke to you guys, but I've thought this through in a serious way, like a dumb fuck. So please respect that. Thank you. Do, 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 do. 
You get, no, honestly, you guys try streaming to 200 people and pointing a camera at your cock. And you tell me if that doesn't instill a sense of subconscious fucking fear in you. Just try it. Ludwig, thank you for the five gifts. Appreciate it, man. Are we up to 700 now? Can I get an exclamation point subs in the chat? Are we at 700 now? Fucking legend, Ludwig. Six ninety nine. Come on, we need one more. We need one primer. Come on, who's got a prime in this chat, dude? We're so close. <laughs> Someone who hasn't gifted. Oh, no roll. Legend. And Ludwig with another. Just to be that extra about it. Let's go. Thanks, guys. We are at 700. Woo! whoop de doo All right, I gotta not grab dragons. I accidentally grabbed a dragon in the homeworld, I think. No dragons. Dragons equals bad. Only dragon bird. That's the only good dragon I'll take. Proxy. So yeah, once again, guys, to those of you who are uh, just joining me, uh, we, as you can tell from the text above my head, uh, we hit the sub goal to do crowd control, but that's going to be happening after this run. This is a 120% early loot speed run, which means I'm going to be skipping dragons in pretty much this entire home world and doing a crazy trick at the end to get into loot early. So a lot of hype. Hopefully I can get the trick relatively quick and snag a, a, a cool world record or something, but who knows? I doubt that that will happen. But if it does, that'd be pretty fucking poggers. But either way, um, after, after whatever this run is, we're going to get into the crowd control. So feel free to stockpile some coins by clicking the channel point thing, the anime orgasm face at the bottom corner of your chat. And feel free to get stockpile your uh, your Deo coins for use on crowd control. And if you don't know what crowd control is, just type exclamation point sub goal in the chat. Um, and the explanation will be there. So yeah. Did I grab- have I been grabbing dragons? I think I grabbed a dragon by accident. You guys gotta call me out when I grab dragons by accident. No dragons. Fuck that dragon. You know? It's an anti-dragon stream. We are a dragon racist here. Unless you're a furry. If you have a dragon, like, username or something, you're cool. Just the ones in this fucking game we're trying to get past. Oh my god. Trying to segregate the ones in this game. Get them out of here. Leave these drag, these crystal dragons in a world, an empty world of no gems and no enemies. Just a fate worse than death is to be stuck in a purgatory of crystal shaking with nothing around you. That's the fate of the dragons in this home world. So don't let me free any of them. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, my girlfriend braided my hair. Look, there's a flower in it. A little flower. It's very cute. I am very loved. Strawberry is a cute booby. Oh my bonk. Okay, don't grab this dragon up ahead. Dude, please give me these gems. I am going to lose my mind. Cool. Nice skipped dragon there. Saving me no time. Epic. D oh. 
I'm flabbergasted. How many gems did I miss at that start area? That had to have been like four separate gem fuck ups. Good lord. Can I just like get the shit I'm going for here? The free mushroom there. Need to introduce yourself in my Discord? Yeah, sometimes I forget to check that channel for like a while. But I try to say welcome and read everyone's introductions and they feel so inclined to give one. It's definitely, in most discords, when they have an introduction channel, it's like required, you know, but for my discord, it's like, you can post an introduction if you want. And I don't care if you don't, it's fine either. Fine either way. And so I find with with that style, a lot, the people who do post introductions are way more wholesome. They're like, oh, I love Spyro and I'm glad to be here and do do do. It's like very cute. It's not just like, okay, give me the fucking roll, bitch. I'm here, <laughs> you know. Oh, do dodged it. Dodged it. No dragons. Yep. Thank you guys. I know I accidentally collected one earlier. No dragons. You guys gotta call me out on it. I'm telling you. The muscle memory will take over. Yeah, don't dragon these nuts on my controller, please. Dodge this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost touched the vortex. That's a really good dragon to skip right there because if I'd have been quicker, I, you can actually uh, grab the gems from the strong box like right as it explodes. But I fucked up. What's up, Peter Griffin? Thank you for the go, Dale. Appreciate it. Uh, you have a two inch shrimp dick. I love pizza and jerking off, man. I'm proud of you. Keep that up. My name's Joey. I'm 16 years old and I never learned to fucking read. Love missing guns. Okay, dodge this dragon. Yay! Amazon package. Is it my cable? It is a sting. Ooh, sounds sounds scraggly. Okay. All right. Thanks for doing that, baby. They're gonna come in today, or no? Like on Monday no. or Tuesday. That's your cable. Yeah. Also. Also. Yeah, I got a U. I got an Ethernet cable. It's not a USB cable, but I do have a kitty cable right behind me. Oh man. Cats are scared of being on stream. I think it's because like the bright lights and the loud like electronics and stuff. Like, um, the problem is that the Skylanders is at my parents. So they can keep the next time we go back to my parents. Did someone say they want to see Skylanders? Bro, don't. You are fucking gaslighting the hell out of me. I know for a fact you guys don't want to see me play Skylanders. I know for a fact. I've seen the YouTube views. I've seen the Twitch views. You guys, met Peter, I appreciate you, but I'm not playing Skylanders again. Sarah's be was being very nice to you, but I'm gonna be- I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm not playing Skylanders. We played it once. Never again. Yeah. Dude, we also played Crash- that's funny you mentioned that. Me and Sarah both played uh, Crash Bash on stream a while back, and uh, you know, same thing. It's- it's as if people only want to see me play this game. I know, crazy, right? But I wonder why that is. If you want to skip play games together, go follow my Twitch. Yes, hello. Every I've been going offline. I've been doing any casual anything. I go offline relatively early now, and in the evenings, all the casual, chill, drunken content is going to be on Strawberry's stream. So just type exclamation point Strawberry if you want to see the after hours Deo and Strawberry Sims slash different weird, you know, whatever you want to request a Spyro game, drop a sub, you know. It's very funny, we're playing The Sims right now, and our friends are exactly like our real life. Yeah, they literally, exactly. literally my Sim is a is a pro live streamer and speedrunner, 
and he has like a whole double monitor setup and a CRT, and she she's a fucking PR lady. It's very cute. And we have Cheddar, and every time he goes to sleep, he lays like he's fucking dead. He's just like, yeah, it's a. If it weren't for the ZZZs, I'd be like Cheddar. I know I grabbed a fucking dragon, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm all skip this one. I know. A fucking shit. idiot. I can't see him. Perfect amount of time to scratch my ear right there. I'm fine with grabbing this one because if I die on the supercharger, that, that like will not be an enormous time loss. Stuff is hanging out. One over there. Be careful. Should be all the turkeys, I think. Careful exiting the level because those turkeys were suspicious. There may be a, a secret conniving turkey, a jive turkey, if you will. Oops. All right, get me out of there. Chilling. They look like chicken part. We call them flying turkeys. <laughs> Shout out to the turkeys. To the Turk. The young Turk. Loosely related to the chickens, though not quite. It estranged family. I'm really hoping I could get a decent early loot on this run. I mean, I'm maybe I'm a little too hopeful. We'll see. I'm gonna be all nervous and shit going for it. I gotta rem I gotta set my expectations low. Like just because I can get a sub 130 with early loot, doesn't mean I should expect that that's what's gonna happen. I should expect that it's gonna take me like 20 fucking minutes to hit the trick. Maybe not as long as last time. Last time it took me like 40 minutes. Let's say sub 20 minutes of attempts, and I'll be happy. No world record, but you know we'll take it. That's what I'm gonna expect. Oh, did I grab the dragon? No, I didn't, right? I think I ran past it. That's what we normally do in the run. But do avoid it now.
How many copies of this game have I owned? Um, maybe like six or seven over there. Currently, I have like four copies. It's nice to just have backups. Same thing with the PS2. It's nice to have like a backup PS2. It's not that they like go out, you know, it's not that they die very often, but just nice to have backup stuff for for me considering this is like my full-time gig right like i don't want to be caught with my dick between my ass all right so let's get our asses into it looks like we're catching up the world record a little bit here even with all these skipped dragons and whatnot not too bad of a dream weavers but uh yeah let's go ahead and um we do want to rescue that dragon in fact i will grab the uh I'll grab the rest of the collectibles later. Let me at least just go into Nort Cove right now. I'll grab the rest of the collectibles when I exit loot. But I gotta remember, don't go into Twilight, guys. Remind me, no Twilight when I exit this level. Yeah, d big congrats to Spyroner for a 133 early loot run. That is the current world record is one hour, 33 minutes. So if I can get the trick within, I don't know, like five minutes or 10 minutes, then, then I can get world record in this uh, you know, category extension. Again, the expectation is that I will not get the trick quickly. I gotta keep my head in that headspace because I don't want to be disappointed when I inevitably fuck up the trick like five times in a row when I could have had it or something. That's gonna be the baseline expectation is that I will fuck it up a lot and not and, you know, watch world records slip away. That's probably what's gonna happen. All right, so don't go into Twilight Harbor this time. Yesterday, I killed my run yesterday by completing Twilight Harbor and opening the Nasty Nork head, so we're not going to do that right now. For funsies, I, I'm going to go for Rat Proxy. Actually, no, I'm not. Alright, grab some of these, set this up. Okay, now I got to do this for a minute until I get it. Attempt almost. Close. I gotta not get too hasty now. Let's not be in a hurry here. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm blue sparks. I have to do it again. I have the wrong sparks level. I must have exited Cove with blue sparks like a dumbass. Watch it take like another like fucking year for me to get this. Here we 
go. Okay. I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, I got pushed out. Unlucky. Um, who just raided me? Pair Strike, thank you for the raid. Welcome. I'm currently going for a crazy endgame skip right now called Early Loot that was just found. If you're curious about what this trick is or any details about it, type exclamation point EL in the chat for a quick two minute plot synopsis. But for now, I'm just trying to make this shit work. If I can do it quick, then I can get a free world record, basically. But yeah, good to see you, Polly. Hope you're doing well. My Baja Blast Crunch Wrap King. camera. Dude, what is this camera? Okay, there we go. No, I got stuck under. I'm just gonna take the death. What time are we at? 116? I think we still have time to get this and I'm not sure how much time I have to play with because, yeah, we'll see. Uh, not quite. A good attempt. At this point, I may be losing time. <laughs> Remember, the expectation is that I will not get world record, that this will take me fucking forever. Okay, I gotta be facing a little more right. here now. Don't get clipped early. Oh, I got clipped early. <laughs> I got clipped early. I could have had it there. What's up, Zan? Thank you for the good luck. Okay, we got it. No, what? I what? Literally what? Oh. What? Literally what even just happened? <laughs> I failed it, guys. I'm sorry. I thought I had it. I was 100% convinced that I was in that head. I, mu I must have like not been all the way in the mouth. I must have been like slightly under still. Oh, that's so sad. camera out of here. Oh, this is probably not going to work. Okay. Okay, I'm in the mouth. I, I'm, this time, forevermore, I am going to wait and make sure that I'm in the mouth. Okay, we're in there. <laughs> oh my god, that was so stupid. Yeah, good consistency though. I'm getting more consistent, y'all. Okay, I have to exit the level now. Let's not do... Because if we exit, if we do the whole level and exit the Vortex, we don't have 120 yet. We have to finish the rest of the levels, then go back in. The reason why I can't finish the other levels first is because it opens the Nasty Nork head. Now I can explain that, now that I'm a little less stressed. Um, I don't know if this is going to world record or not. We'll see. But now the, na now the Nasty's loot head is open, so I can go there anytime I want without having to do a trick. 
Yeah, no dragons. Thank you for the reminders. Oh my god. I don't know if this is going to be world record or not. I still have a lot of gaming to do. I still have to hit credit skip also. I, I feel like this is not going to be world record. I feel like I took quite a bit of time there with that uh, early loot, so I don't know. But this is definitely going to be a PB for me, and that's what I'm that's what I'm counting on. And to those who are curious, the record is 1 hour 33 minutes. I don't know the exact seconds. Don't get the dragon. Oh, I missed the red. Oh, no, actually Sparks grabbed it. That was clutch, I think. I have 13 minutes to do three levels. Is that enough? Is that world recordable? I don't know. I am gonna grab this dragon for the death abuse. Should have lives still, right? Did grab that red earlier than this. Okay, I'm at zero lives. Go back up here. Good thing I checked. I wasn't sure. Yeah, just run back. Just run back. That's fine for credit skip at least. Let me wait here for the uh, sparkses. I know this seems stupid, but it's to make credit skip more consistent. Normally, you wouldn't have to worry about that if you were death abusing. There. That's like my third or fourth missed flame charge this run. This could, that's the only uh, gripe I have with this controller is it sometimes misses flame charges when I know I would have gotten them on any other controller. All right, Twilight Heart, we're plus five minutes on these splits. So yeah, we are technically sub 130 pace, I think. I don't know. If we can sub 130 this, I'll be blown away. Yeah, the splits I'm running against are just a normal 120% run, but I did early loot, so that's why I'm like so far behind. And took forever with it also. But at this point, the splits do make sense again now, now that I've like completed the early loot shenanigans. I don't, I'm not gonna run against like a separate pair of splits for early loot runs or anything, because the way I approach it is like, I just, I just swap from normal 120 to early loot if I feel so inclined. I need that red. Did not mean to jump there. Schlub it. Yeah, this is early loot. I've completed early loot at this point. To those of you just joining us, I have completed early loot, and I'm currently on the final boss. I have to go for credit skip in order to actually get world record, I believe. But I, I think this might be world record pace. Yeah, once I hit credit skip, then you can say hi, YouTube. It's funny because I just posted my first run uh, today on my YouTube. And uh, now hopefully if I can finish this on world record, I'll be like, all right, I improved my PB by like 40 fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah, click on that link for an explanation on the trick that I did in this category that allows me to skip dragons. Beautiful. Hi, YouTube. Oh my god. Nice fucking, nice PB pace here, my friends. Man, I've never been this excited on a run since fucking my last record, dude. Let's go. I don't need that dragon. Fuck that bitch. See ya. We're out. I should have 12,000 gems at this point. Yep. Let's fucking roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking roll. Hi, Red Tube. Hi, Pornhub. Let's fucking get it. World record pace? Fuck it. Why not? 
pull out a quick world record. See what you guys see what the difference a good attitude has? Fucking yesterday I had the worst attitude ever. And I couldn't get shit. I couldn't even finish an early loot run. And now look at me. It's the way of the universe. Some days treat you right, other days treat you bad. My girlfriend back there. I have front row seat. You guys. Yay! She gets the IRL seat. <laughs> Hell yeah. But no, I just want to say a big shout out. Um, since I'm on this pace right now, I just want to say big shout outs to uh, Spyroner, who has the current record and who actually invented the most recent strat I incorporated in, into my run, which is this little jump off to the left, goes off screen, then dive bomb to manipulate him down. Saving a few seconds there, especially with the early firework. Big shouts to Spyroner for not only finding that trick, but uh, having the early loot world record, which I'm hopefully going to break right now. <laughs> Diddle to the chat. And and big hype for uh, for crowd control coming up after this run. We just hit the sub goal, as you can see above me here. So. Stick around if you want to, uh, you know, redeem those Deo coins, dude. They're better than cryptocurrency. Literal more value than cryptocurrency. Deo, co Deo coin crowd control. I think I'm funny. That's real. Yeah, she's just fucking partying back there. You'll love to see it. I will check my gem count, because that would be honestly truly terrible if I was not paying attention and missed one. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Woo Woo Give me that 127, baby. I've never been more excited for a 127 of my life. You were crying yesterday because you were like, I can't. I cried I yesterday. I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. And then the next day you get a world record. See, yeah. baby, you just had a bad day. You take it one now. You sing a sad song. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I have Sarah here so that I have actually have an actual shoulder to cry on. And it made me feel a lot better. She bought me orange juice and that's what set me off. I was like, I'm like loved by someone. She was like, here's some orange juice. I was like, I just started bawling in her face. I was like, I'm sorry, I'll never buy you orange juice again. I didn't mean to make you. <laughs> all right, guys, so fucking hype. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Now you're a double world record holder again. I, I just want to say real quick, this run may not stay world record for a long time. Um, I'm confident this cat, I mean, technically this category should, in theory, go lower than the current 120% record. Now, with that said, you know, like, I don't know if I'm gonna take it that far, but I'm glad to at least have this baseline PB. I, I would love to get like maybe 125 or below in this category, I think it's gonna be my next goal. I could definitely get that early loot, like maybe like, f I don't know, two or three minutes quicker at least. But yeah, who cares? Live in the hype. I, yeah, I like that, Bex. Live in the hype. It's a Friday, we got a little record. Yeah, happy we Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Oh yeah, we have a delicious steak that I salted earlier today. Shout outs to all the meat scientists in the chat. I remember to salt my steak um, hours before cooking it so that way the salt has time to penetrate the meat. And oh, then let- penetrate my meat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to penetrate some meat up in here, all right? <laughs> if you're my boss and you're watching this, I didn't say that. Probably Neville, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, Neb. You'd have to really commit to it at the start of the run. Yeah, thank you, Spyroner. Thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Everyone follow Spyroner. He's probably the next best thing in this category right now. I'm not even joking. If you like watching 120, go follow Spyroner. But yeah, I just took down his world record. Very, very proud of myself. Proud of him too. I, I made sure to shout him out at the end of my run there when I did the little, uh, the, the little plane manipulation that he taught me. So yeah, legend. Yeah, this is the early loot world record. Yeah, I did. I, this was an early loot run, Spyroner. Unless someone else beat it, like, in the last day or two. Cyrus, thanks for the gift. Appreciate it. Skibobo. Skibobo. Oh, man, I'm sorry, dude. Dude, I'm sorry. 
Oh, well, that's you her challenge. She raises the torch to you. Go get it back. It took me, it took me like about, oh, I don't know. Do you guys know how many minutes it took? It took me at least somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I failed it. I failed it like, um, obviously I fucked around with tooth roll a bunch. Um, I had the wrong sparks value once. I fucked up the clip like twice. I got the clip and the glide once. And then I went, hey, tip for, for every everyone trying this trick is make sure you're all the way in the loot mouth, not like slightly underneath it. Cause I thought I was all the way in it and cause the camera's not in yet. And I charged into the portal and I just charged into the water because I was slightly under the mouth. Spyroner knows what I'm talking about. So don't make that mistake. Wait for the camera to get into the mouth, you know, so you know. But uh, yeah, the category has been added. I'm gonna submit this run to it. So yeah.